Jesus, how big is this sewer? I wouldn't be surprised if I'm heading to the Paris sewage. Eh. Okay, due to how Bionicle Gene 2 is doing, I'm not amazed that this is downhill. So let's just get to this video started. So here's Ikimu the Mask Maker, this time having his name. It has 96 pieces with new parts and... This is a joke, right? Well, it seems like Ikimu became the construction set with the least amount of new pieces and recolors. I mean, with all the previous years of construction sets have a decent amount of new recolors, when uh, there isn't much of new pieces. But with this, you can just go on BrickLink and uh, buy the new stuff for like $3. Well, depending how many people are selling the parts on there, but how Bionicle G2 is doing, uh, those parts are going to be like finding a treasure chest after a... Whenever they are going to all be sold out. Heck, there are still stores that are still trying to get rid of the 2015 winter sets. Anyways, it has the color of gold, translite blue, and two bits of pearl dark gray. Too many gold, too okay, many- Okay, this one did the opposite. Instead of having too much gold, it's trains. Now, I like that the body armor is in a new color, and I hate that they are cutting corners with the sets, the 2015 summer sets being an example, but with the printing, it would have been better with the body armor in gold. And I would also love if we had uh, armor pieces recolored in gold, because this set is another big example of cutting corners. It heavily lacks new pieces and recolors, it uses these four long armor eight times, and these add-on armor three times, these bones five times, and still no golden hands. Also, Pearl Dark Grey. But let's be honest, it's not surprising since the line is doing so badly. However, this set is dead on close to a good set, yet there's the back tumor, shoulders, weapons, and legs. Looking at the front, it's somewhat good besides the legs, obviously. And speaking of the legs, who the hell thought making the legs like this again was still a good idea? This is the other set that they did the long upper and the short lower legs, which I have said in my Golly and Akita review, and uh, as I said in that review, the lower legs really need uh, to be longer. Also, I have the upper leg armor needing to be fire long or large shell armor. Don't know which one uh, you would pick, but I would love to have gold large shell armor. Arms aren't anything special, but like on Nua, it's odd that the upper arm bones are different and isn't even necessary. Ikimu have two function, which are the butt plug waist function and the knob box function. Now this is a horrible idea that they did, because trying to use both function is stupid and uncomfortable when using. It's obvious that they were forcing two function into one set, which they should have picked one function. I think they should have used the Star Wars Ultra Builder torso since there are only two colors of this piece and he would be having a different torso from the other Toa. Plus, Ikimu isn't gonna be putting any creatures on him with that mask on. Shoulder armor? Well, it's better than what they did with 2015 shoulder armor, yet only looks good from the front. The shell armor should have been a three longer and connected on the arms like Tahu Unite. Printing is great looking. I like that it has six of the Nufa symbol on the side while his symbol is in the center. 
I love that it has straps on the left side of the printing that I wish they would have added some reddish brown pieces to the set, like having the fist and the left shoulder shell armor in reddish brown. The mask of creation, which is now in trans light blue, that makes people think it's candy. And I suggest to you to not eat it unless you really want broken teeth. Plus, due to the transparency of the mask, it can't be harder to see the occult language unless looking at it from the light. Now last are the weapons that are pretty much the same thing, besides the hammer which doesn't have a mini stud shooter. Just by looking at the hammer you can tell that it's lazily built, that they threw it together with that crystal piece until it looks like a hammer. The shield of how it is connected, they should have used a T piece instead of that T piece with an axle hole, um, I guess that's what it's called. And they used that brain attack shield piece in trans light blue and have printing. Overall, I don't recommend it, not even for a part pack. It have lots of flaws, lazily built, and cut many corners. If you are still thinking of getting this, just wait until the pieces are under $1 on Bricklink. This set gets a cup of candy. Now I'm gonna find a... Uh, what the hell? Oh crap!